I'm nervous because now you're in the same room. I'm going. Okay. See ya. I'm gonna wait till you leave the room. Just wait. Right. I'm not nervous. Uh, you're not nervous. You're shy. There's a difference. <laughs> Okay, enjoy. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. When you see this, I am going to be 37 weeks pregnant and still no baby for right now. So I'm gonna try to knock out some videos in the next few weeks. I thought it would be fun to do a January slash winter favorite. Some of my favorite things that get me through the winter since I'll be having a baby very soon. I'm not gonna be experimenting with a lot of stuff. So these are all things that actually came out of my house. I have fragrance, bath stuff, snacks, and I have some cozies to show you. I'll have everything linked in the description box below if you wanna try it out. And all of these products will help you stay warm, cozy, and also glowy, and your skin feeling good and not dry, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing that I'm gonna start off with is something you guys have requested from me but I haven't done yet, is a fragrance video which shows you my perfume collection, the perfumes I like and I wear, but I'm gonna show you a few today. I have been loving and wearing Philosophy's Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This fragrance is exactly like the name. It makes me think of like a very nice cozy smell, if you will. And on the box it says, savor what makes you feel special, like the luxurious comfort of slipping into your favorite cashmere sweater. Plush and inviting, it envelops you in a soft embrace and keeps you coming back for more. One thing that I love about this brand too is that you can layer your fragrance. I've talked about this briefly before in some of my other haul videos. If a brand has a bath wash, oil, body lotion, layering them on top of each other are just going to keep that fragrance on you and also just make you feel so warm and cozy like the name says. So I also have this in the body wash. You can also see where I've used this because I like to do bubble baths. But the great thing about this is this is a shampoo, bath, and shower gel. So you can use this for multiple things. Also, it comes in the body lotion. So I have all three of these in the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Speaking of layering your fragrances, if you have a perfume or body spray that doesn't have a lotion with it, because if you layer a fragrance on top of a lotion, of course it's gonna stay longer, you can use Vaseline. I love this stick Vaseline. I have one in my bedroom, drawer in my bathroom, and then I actually have one in my car as well. Just put on your wrist like this, or any spot that you're gonna spray your perfume, and it's gonna help it stay and last longer. Also, I love Vaseline just for everything. You can put this on your face at night. That's why I have one by my bed because I put it on my face sometimes. You can put this in spots on your elbows or something that get really dry, put it on your hands. You can use Vaseline for everything. One more fragrance I wanted to show you is the Vanille. This is an Eau de Toilette. This I got at Anthropology. I got the small size because I don't wanna pay a lot for a toilet. However, this vanilla is one of the best vanillas that I have smelled. I don't wear vanilla all year round, so that's why I got the smaller, but I like to mix this with any of my Gourmand fragrances too. Super easy to just throw in my purse if I need a little spritz, if I'm getting out somewhere. Perfect for the season. Speaking of vanilla and dry skin, I've showed you guys this before. One of my favorite body lotions there is out there. EOS Shea Butter 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. Now when I tell you this stuff smells good, this stuff smells fantastic. I'm not the biggest vanilla lover, but this stuff right here, it makes you feel really moisturized, but not sticky. I'm not the best at describing scents, but if you are in Target, Walmart, whatever, and you run across this, just smell it. You will love it. Pick it up. You won't regret it. I've shared with you guys before in one of my other hauls that I love an in a shower moisturizer. It's when you take a shower, you lather it on your body, and then you rinse it off and it moisturizes your skin. Well, I found another one. The one before was Nivea. This is from Olay. They have like different kinds, but I 
thought this one smelled better than the other ones. Olay's Rinse Off Body Conditioner with Vitamin E. So if you have super dry skin and you're in the shower, sometimes it's just a hassle to put lotion on and try to moisturize when you get out of the shower. It's especially annoying to me right now because it's hard to reach my toes at this point. So getting out of the shower, drying off, and then trying to rub lotion all over me is really a task. I love this stuff because I can just put it on in the shower, rinse it off with the shower head, and be done with it. I tried this for the very first time just a few days ago. It was really, really good. I may even switch over to this for my Nivea one once I'm finished. I don't know, I may keep both. But I really did like this one. Left my skin feeling really good. And when I got in bed that night, I woke up the next morning and didn't have any issues with being itchy or dry. Another thing you may like if you have really dry skin on your legs or anywhere you shave is this Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. It has soy, aloe, and vitamin E in it, so it leaves your skin feeling really soft. This is another thing that I tried for the first time this week. I loved it, it left my skin feeling really soft. I can get super dry legs in the winter and this helped tremendously. The next thing I've kind of talked a little bit about in my last vlog video, I was about to say last video, but the last video was Adam, was Buff City. I got this scrub because one of the things you need to do to keep your body just soaking in those moisturizers and lotions is to scrub your skin. So I got this body scrub from Buff City Soap in the scent Narcissist. And then, like I said in my vlog, you will never ever have or try another bath bomb after you've had a bath truffle from Buff City. When I tell you no other bath bomb compares to this, I promise you, I promise you, you just need to go get this because I promise you, you will not have anything that even compares to it. This little guy really moisturizes your skin. I feel like I'm gonna be saying this about everything, but since this is like a winter's favorite, I'm probably gonna say it even more, but this really does moisturize your skin. It feels like you just put a bunch of like baby oil or just oil in general in your bathtub and soaked in it and your skin comes out amazing. I told one of my best friends about this. Her and her husband are obsessed with it. I don't need to say anything else. If you don't buy this, that's on you. <laughs> the next thing I have is from Bath and Body Works. Okay, <laughs> so I have to tell this story. Me and my friend Courtney, who shot all of my maternity pictures, she's done my wedding, my engagement, my maternity. She's a great friend of mine. I went really crazy at the Bath and Body Works sale and these guys were $5. And as you know, they're usually like, this one says $16.50. I bought almost every fragrance and we ranked them. She gave them a ranking and I gave them a ranking out of five. And then we put them all together to see what was our favorite. And this guy, Sweater Weather, was both a five out of five for us. Sweater Weather, it's like perfect. The fragrance notes on these don't really describe what actual, what I think Sweater Weather would be, but it does smell like Sweater Weather. I know that sounds bizarre and hard to follow, but you'll see when I read the notes. It's sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. And I'm gonna put some on. This fragrance just smells cozy. It smells like if I was wearing this outfit, this is exactly what I would spray on. This is what I sprayed on today. Okay, we kind of talked about dry skin. Let's talk about having a dry face. So one of my two favorite cleansers right now for dry skin on your face is the Clinique Take the Day Off. I've tried a lot of cleansing balms from Target, from Walmart, and I really like them, but there's really nothing that compares to the caliber of what you're getting here. It is more expensive, and that's why I've tried some of the other drugstore makeup brands because this can be so expensive, but I just went ahead and splurged since my skin had been so dry, and gosh, it makes, it just makes taking off your makeup really easy, and you're not tugging at your skin like you do with a face wipe. The other favorite of mine is this Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's a conditioning face wash, so with the word conditioning, you know that it's also not stripping your face. And what I usually do is just take my makeup off with this 
and then go in and kind of double cleanse with this milky jelly cleanser. Two more things that I have never tried until this month and I really, really love is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This stuff is so good. When I feel like my skin is just so dry, my lips are chapped, I slather this all over. It feels so amazing. You can use it under or over your makeup or as a five minute mask. I usually put this on at night. A little bit goes a long way. I'm actually packing the little travel size into my hospital bag because I love it that much and it really does moisturize your face when it's just so dry. So this is perfect for a January favorite. And to go along with that, another thing that I tried from Clinique is this Moisture Surge Face Spray and it's Thirsty Skin Relief. Love this stuff. Also pack this in my hospital bag. I can just spritz myself. It feels so good. These two things also come in like a gift set that had a mask with it. I have not tried the mask, but when I was reading reviews on this it's on Ulta, everyone was raving about, no pun intended, these products along with the overnight sleep mask. I'm so glad I tried these out because they're perfect to get me through the winter. Now moving on to a little bit of makeup. One of the most asked questions that I've been getting lately is what's on my cheeks? Like what's my highlighter on my cheeks? I know highlighter in this like glowy dewy thing is not everyone's cup of tea, but I've gotten so many questions about it. I even had some girls message Adam to ask me what's on my face. So I wanted to show you exactly what I do. So the first things first is, it's kind of like a high low kind of situation. You guys know I love my drugstore makeup and there's just some things that don't compare to the higher end brands. So, this is the Beauty Lot Wand, Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone knows this actual product. I use a little bit of this. I'm going to show you exactly what I do for this glow, okay? So I pop it right here, just a little bit. I let it set for a little bit, may put some lips on or something. And then I go in with this Wet n Wild Hello Halo in the color Highlight Bling. They have other colors, so I'm sure you could use other colors. I just do one little swirl, tap it off, and just bring it in. Now I have like double the highlight on, so I'll probably look a, like a little glazed donut, but <laughs> that's what I do. These are the two things that I use to get a glow, so your face doesn't look dry in the winter as well. The next kind of face makeup thing that I have for dry skin or just to give you more of a glow is this Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. It says you apply two pumps all over your face as a last step in your skin routine and add more to the high points of the face for an extra glow. I mix this in with my foundation, put it on before my foundation, or like it says, just add it to the cheeks or wherever you wanna highlight and it does give you a really good glow. I've been using this for a really long time and I love it. These two things, if I were on a desert island, these are the two things that I bring with me. <laughs> the Tarte Juicy Lip, I don't even wanna say the name because I'm gonna butcher it. I'll leave it in the comments below, but this is in the shade Coconut. This is what I'm currently wearing right now. This stuff is like a lip gloss and also a lip balm all into one. It gives me the perfect color. I wanna experiment more into some of the other colors, but I love this color so much. I'm always gonna have this with me, winter, spring, fall, whatever, summer. Another thing that I'll always have in my bag, I actually have two of these, one in my bedroom and one in my bathroom. This is Glossier's birthdaybomb.com. It smells and tastes exactly like a birthday. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's one of the best lip balms that I have. I put this on before bed, before I get ready in the morning. I have had the worst chapped lips lately and these two items have gotten me through it. If you have chapped lips and you want a little bit of color, go for her. If you want a little tiny bit of sparkle and something that smells really good and that you put on just for yourself and for your lips, this is your guy. So either one of these, highly recommend. These are one of my forever products that will always be in my makeup bag, always be in my purse, always be in my car, and always be in my nightstand. <laughs> we've talked about skin, we've talked about face. Now let's 
let's talk about hair. Every hair oil that I've tried, I always go back to her. This is the Bio Silk Silk Therapy Hair Oil. I love the smell of this. I love how it makes my hair look. I love the consistency. It makes your hair so shiny and soft. I think I love the smell of this so much because when I get my hair done, this is the oil that my hairdresser uses aka my best friend. It just brings me back to those moments being in the chair, just having super clean hair, super pretty hair, and this is like the finishing touch of a really nice hair and it leaves you with a really nice shine that's not oily. I have super oily hair. I mean, it's an oil, obviously, but it doesn't like make my oily hair like greasy. The other thing that I've recently become addicted to is this Dry Bars Sparkling Soda Shine Mist. And this stuff, anytime I curl my hair, and I'm like, my hair kind of looks dull. I need something to spice it up. I'll put a hair oil in it and everything, but you know, sometimes you'll touch up your hair and it still looks dull. I will spray this stuff in there. It will just give it this pretty soft glow. It will bring life back into my hair. So those are my two shiny hair secrets. I hope you can see it on the camera how shiny my hair looks. <laughs> Moving on to snacks. Now, I'm pregnant right now, so I can tell you a lot of snacks, but here are the few snacks that I'm literally obsessed with right now. First thing is from Trader Joe's is the milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. You guys halfway through these bought these yesterday just between me and you guys i'm not the biggest trader joe's fan and i know that's really controversial to say a lot of people love trader joe's not for me my husband loves trader joe's and it, but it's hard for me to find something that like i really really love there this might be the thing these are like little bitty pretzels dipped in chocolate with peanut butter inside of them i don't know how you don't like that you have to like it. So that's one of my favorite snacks. This one might seem a little bit random. These are Red Hots. In the winter, one of my favorite things to do is to put apple cider on the stove, and put Red Hots in it. Comment below if anyone else does this. The Red Hots just give it a really good candied flavor and it also makes it a teeny, teeny, teeny bit hot. It's perfection. I really can't drink apple cider without red hots. Another snack Adam and I really love, these blue diamond almonds come in different flavors. This is the sriracha, cayenne pepper, and the salt and vinegar. I have other flavors too. I love all of these, especially when I'm having some kind of like salty craving or spicy craving. Pop some of these in. They're really easy on the go. Stick in your purse to go to work. I love these things and so does Adam. So I shared in my vlog that I'm obsessed with all things eggs right now. One of my favorite things to put on eggs, even though I told you Trader Joe's is not my favorite, um, is everything but the bagel seasoning. <laughs> Everyone talks about this. I think this is like one of the most popular items ever at Trader Joe's. You can literally put this on everything, but I've been putting this on my eggs. I have to say, it, it brings it up a notch. Okay, had to get this out of the freezer. Fru, true fru, I guess is how you say it. Nature's raspberries, they are frozen fresh in a white chocolate and dark chocolate. Got them in a strawberry, but I'm really, I'm craving raspberries right now. And with the chocolate, it's just chef's kiss. They have blueberries too, but be careful because one serving size is 90 calories. I'm not counting calories right now. You may be because it's the new year and you may, you know, have some resolutions to keep up with but I don't, and these things are so good. They're so addictive. I'm not ashamed to say. I'm probably gonna finish this back. So, they're so good. Mm. I will be finishing those very soon. This is the vanilla bean candle. I really like this candle because you can burn this throughout Christmas, of course, because you think of vanilla bean being like more of a holiday scent. But you can also burn this throughout January and February. When I smell this, I really do think of Valentine's Day. When I think of Valentine's Day, I think of like vanilla cupcakes. But just in general for the winter, you think of vanilla as well. 
It's a really pretty colored candle. I know that's not everything, but here's a little secret that I do with, with candles, okay? I don't really like the label. It kind of doesn't go with the aesthetic that I'm trying to do. So all you do is you peel the label off. Almost all of my candles, the label will be pulled off, especially if it's a really pretty color like this or a cream candle or a glass candle. Pulling the label off really does elevate the look of the candle. Some candles that can be ruined by the packaging, wouldn't want to stick a purple or blue candle in the middle of my house if that wasn't the color scheme that I'm going for. It's just kind of an eyesore. So if you get a glass candle or a neutral color candle and you peel the label off, it just kind of elevates it a little bit more. But anyway, just a little tidbit, but I do really like the vanilla bean. It's going to carry me through the winter month. The last three things I'm going to show you are cozies. I'm going to show you what Adam got me for Christmas. I told you in my Walmart haul that I never, this is inside out because I literally had it on just a while ago. I've never owned skins before. Adam bought me this for Christmas. It's a skins robe. Oh my gosh, it is buttery soft. It's worth every penny. It's a splurge but it's worth. If you're going to splurge, splurge on skins. It feels so good. I'm so happy with this. I even thought about bringing this to the hospital too. Like I said in my hospital bag video, I don't want to overpack, but this feels so good. I kind of want to bring it. We'll see though. If I have room, I'm going to bring it. But if you don't want to splurge on skins, you can buy what I have on right now. It feels very, very similar to Skins. I actually got this at Target. I went to three different Targets today trying to find this in the cream color because I love this so much. It's in the pajama section, but I'll link it down below for you. This feels so good. I'm wearing a medium in the bottom and I'm wearing an extra large in the top just to cover my little bump here. I love how this feels. It's so warm and cozy. And like I said, it's very, the feeling of this is very comparable to the skins. Here's my last thing. And I kind of talked about this in my hospital bag as well. I went to Nordstrom Rack recently and they had the Barefoot Dreams blankets on sale. And they still do when I'm recording this. So I'll link these down below for you. I'm packing one of these to go to the hospital. I also went and bought another one to have in the baby's room because it's so soft. And oh my gosh, you can't beat the price. These are like $120 blankets or more. And I can't remember what I paid for it, but I don't even think I paid half that. And I knew if I didn't get it, it was going to be out of stock in the Nordstrom Rack here because out of all the Nordstrom Racks that are in Dallas, there was they were only in stock at one location. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I really wanted to buy three. These, these would have made amazing gifts, but I stopped myself at two. One cream color, one gray color. So I really love this. And this is kind of in the same lines as like what I have on and the skin. It's like very soft and cozy. So that is my last item I wanted to share with you to get you through the winter months and to get through January. So that is all I have. Thank you for watching. Hopefully my baby comes soon. I'm going to keep trying to pump out some content for you until he gets here. Maybe get ahead of the game so I won't miss a few weeks off with you when he's here. And let me know in the comments below any other ideas that you have for me. When it comes to YouTube videos, you have been giving me great feedback, great suggestions. I'm trying to read everyone's comments and reply to you guys. Comments, concerns, suggestions, anything you have tried or want to try or want to suggest to me, let me know. I'm all ears and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.